Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Pray, Cross Bandicoot, and Saint Trilogy. Um, I'm going to take a moment to explain about episodes 15 and 16. There were originally going to be one episode, but there were really bad technical difficulties with sound and editing and stuff like that. So there ended up being two episodes, and I've explained the rest of the stuff in episode 16 about sound and things like that. Hopefully this is just going to be a normal episode and uh, nothing will go wrong. Ah, what is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals. Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash and bring them to me! What's your problem? You tried to kill me! Alright, so yeah, this might not be a super long episode, and I really apologise for that, because I know episodes 15 and 16 were short. I'm going to use the time I have as, uh, as wise as possible. This isn't a massive amount of time, because I need to go out soon, but... Let's start with this, because this one's easy. Just a crystal and a gem. I'm not going to invert my flight controls, because that's unnecessary. I like the intro to this level. So yeah, we're on Cortex's space station now. Well, you can see the controls there, but the main ones we're going to need are A to go forwards and the directional buttons and X to spin. Uh, the only hard part of this really is getting all the boxes. I'm not going to get all the one for food. Uh, this episode's a bit annoying, but it doesn't have any extra uh, gems, uh, which is good. Trust me, not having any extra jumps is very good compared to the two episodes, the two levels here that do. I don't think it's that hard to miss the boxes. I think on the second jetpack level, I sometimes miss them. Not because of my boxes, because that would just be silly. Um, obviously, things that are very red are hot. You do not want to touch them. This thing gives you good life advice, in a way. I just sent a robot to its death. But those things are robots, not people, so... Thank <laughs> you. 
probably can actually see space. I don't think there's any way to go back now if you haven't. Apart from death, there's death. Okay, well, I messed some of the boxes, so I'm gonna have to redo this, but never mind. I don't think I'll be able to show off where the boxes are, because I've, I've no idea where the ones I missed are. Just. At least I got the crystal. I'll see you in a minute once I've got all of the boxes and that's the best I can do. Alright, I don't know where the two boxes I missed were, but I don't know I found them this time. Actually, that level is a pain to do. It's just not quite as annoying as it would be if it had two extra gems with lots of backpacking, um, not backpacking, backtracking, I don't know if I had backpacking, I don't know, that, that might be fun, really depends on whether, well, I think the fact that it's in space actually might make backpacking quite difficult, I suppose you're already wearing a pack of sorts, alright, all of these levels are terrible, and have a limited amount of time here. Alright. Gonna go get the crystal from some of these levels, whichever ones I have time to do. And then I will come and get the gems uh, in the next episode. Um, I'm not sure what the point of this hint is. Perhaps it's saying that this time you're not, you're actually going to have to complete the gem boot instead of us letting you get the purple gem immediately so that you don't have to actually do that level. So, these levels are alright. They're quite annoying. I suppose they're interesting in that we haven't seen levels like this before. Well, they're hard because we're at the point of the game when we're in the last warp room, so they're going to be hard to do. These are just like maintenance robots or something. Or if they are just there to kill crash. They don't seem to do a lot except go backwards and forwards. It was actually surprisingly easy to miss. 
and that would be there, but I died. Alright, you can spin those away, which is something you really need to know, because otherwise this level is exceedingly hard to do. I remember this bonus round being quite annoying as well, actually. fan of these these futuristic levels. I think the ones on Crash Bandicoot 3 are better. The, these are just kind of... They feel... The, the music isn't great and just... Music isn't great, and somehow the the hazards, like the enemies, for example, just aren't that interesting. I don't think it's a particularly interesting looking level. is all I need for now. I promise you I will be getting the gems in the next episode. I prefer these levels to the futuristic levels. I think they have a better sense of atmosphere and better music. Not the best music in the game, but better music. Ah, oh, that's ironic. I was saved by the thing that killed me.
Now, if you're thinking to yourself, there's no way that was harder than um, Totally Fly. You may have noticed I did not get all of the boxes. They really like backtracking at the uh, end of these uh, these last couple of warp rooms. Alright, let's go for the spaced out um, crystal here. this way but I'm running out of time anyway I might as well show this off and I don't really feel like continuing with this, to be honest. I will see you next time.